I'm done with this caulking and what am I gonna do with this look at this I only used I only use this much of that whole tube I've got this much left and I have no idea when I'm gonna use almond again and and if I if I wait four or five months even more than that uh, what happens to caulking is this caulking inside the spout is going to dry up and next time I go to use it I'm going to squeeze on it and I'm not going to be able to have it come out or it's going to start coming out here I could take uh, something and drive it in there like, like the end of your, your caulk gun you could take that and push that in there but see as I push that in I'm going I'm going almost as long as it is. I wish they would make these longer and on some caulking tubes I think I've seen that actually a little bit longer because it would be nice to poke it down in all the way but even then lots of times this is not going to come out so then I may have to cut a bigger uh, spout end on here dig a little screwdriver in there work it around squirt it pretty soon it kind of it kind of comes out chunky at first and and so that's what you need to be aware of. You can't just, you know, four months from now uh, think a little bit's coming out of here and then start your project and then find out this, this fills up and it squirts out real fast or it gets kind of chunky because you're, you're pushing out some of that caulking that's dry. So what I usually try to do when I'm cleaning this, uh, I'll squirt it out by a garbage can or on a piece of cardboard or trash or whatever. And once I know I've got a good flow coming out of here, then I'll then I'll clean it off and then I'll start working on my project. Okay. There's a tip for you when you're using caulking. You know the other thing, you could put a long nail in here, a really super long nail, a galvanized 16 maybe, shove that in there, or a long sheetrock screw, a three and a half inch long sheetrock screw drive it all the way down in there or something and then take that out and screw it back in back and forth you know with a pair of pliers or something and grab it and, and you can kind of clean out some of that that way too I think I might I might even do that I have some three inch long uh, sheetrock screws and uh, I'll do that before this dries out okay all right happy caulking Okay, let's see where my three inch screws are. <laughs> I've stacked all this stuff in a particular way so I would know where everything is. Longest screw at the bottom apparently. These should be my three inch down here. Yep, three inch drywall screws. And these are coarse thread coarse threaded sheetrock screws, okay? And I I, um, I use these for all kinds of stuff. And I usually have three inch, two and a half, twos, inch and five eighths, inch and a quarter. And they even have one inch. Okay, so what am I what am I showing you out here anyways? I've got my my caulk tube, remember? And I'm going to put that down in there because I don't know when the next time I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to take my drill. That way I don't have to cut the opening any bigger. There. Now next time I get ready for that I can unscrew it and I can take a pair of pliers and kind of plunge it back and forth because Next time I use this, maybe it's not going to be for four or five months and I don't want all of the caulking in here to dry because then I have to cut the, the, the end off way bigger, dig it out with a screwdriver, recut it. Now my tip is really super big. Okay, so there's a thought for you when you get ready to store that. Now if you have an old one, what can you do? 
do if you have an old one and it's not coming out? Here, I've got another one. I've, I've had this one sitting here. This is extreme stretch. Look at this, seals joints up to three inches. I don't use it for three inch ones, but you know, this is really good stuff. But I haven't used it for a while. I know it's still good. And chances are if I put that in a caulk tube, so I've used about that much, chances are if I put that in a caulk tube, um, this is still dry and I won't be able to, to take it out. Well, I can put a long screw in there, screw it in there, and then um, unscrew it, screw it, unscrew it, and then take a pair of pliers and grab it and, and kind of use that, you know, like a rasp or something in there and get most of that out inside of there. And then before I would put that, before I would use it, I'd, I'd put the caulk gun on here and then I'd squirt some of it into the trash can or, or on a pile of trash or a piece of napkin. Uh, paper towel whatever and make sure it's coming out because there's going to be some dry bits in here that are going to come out and if you're trying to caulk something um, right at first you're going to get that stuff in there so make sure you squirt out a little bit of it and clean that make sure it's coming out nice and even okay the last thing you want to do is cut the holes any bigger see this one's a little bit bigger because I use that outside on some stairs and if you were watching earlier, um, I used this around the tub and, and to do some tile joints, some grout joints and stuff. And it just happened to match perfectly because the tub and tile and the grout in there was almond. And so I used this. And this, this hole is a lot smaller than this one. And I'm trying to keep it small. That's why I'm putting that screw in there. And I'm crossing my fingers that next time I need that, I'll be able to use it. Oh, that's funny. I was calling this, this caulking. Here's the white caulking I'm going to use. Remember I kept calling it Alex 7? It's Alex Plus. I used to have an old uh, VW bug. And I, for some reason, um, I called it Alex 7. And that's where I got that name at. So see, this is this is slightly different. It's still from DAP. It's still from DAP. And make sure when you get caulking, you look up here, and it will tell you what color it is, so you don't get clear. Uh, they they sell this in clear too, and you wouldn't even know it by picking up the container because it's white. But you have to look up here. This one happens to be white. Some of them will say clear. So make sure you get the right one for your project. Okay. So here's the almond. I would have gotten an Alex Plus, but they didn't have it in almond, the Alex Plus. Okay. And this one, this one works. This, see, this is an all-purpose acrylic latex caulk plus silicone, 40-year. Um, it's 100% water, 100% waterproof, easy water cleanup, interior, exterior, right there. And I'm not going to, this is for painting projects. I'm not really going to paint over it. I'm going to use it finished. But see, baseboards, windows, doors, molding, all kinds of stuff. Trim. Okay. So that's what I'm using. They also have a, a 30 year. They used to have just a 20 year. Then they have 30 year, 40 year. Like, what's going to happen after 10 years? If it's bad, what are you going to do? Save your receipt, take it back, get it get one new tube of caulking, you know, that's kind of cheesy, how, how they'll say that. I have no idea if it's going to last 40 years or not, but that's not why I got it. And that's what I'm going to end up using down at the baseboard. And it's going to be pre, it's just going to be pre-finished. And, and when it dries, it, it dries kind of uh, shiny. I'm going to do that at the bottom of the baseboards all the way around. And I'm also going to do that on this on this top edge of, of where the tub in, enclosure is the glass doors fit down on the rail and I cleaned off all this old silicone there and I'm gonna put a bead of white caulking there and then I'm gonna put white around there I'm gonna look at the, the toilet and the toilet happens to be almond and I'll look at that and see how well it looks at the bottom and that look that actually 
that actually looks pretty good, huh? But if there was a crack or um, something going on, see, see how they got it up a little high there? I can, I can clean that off. See, it's coming off with, with just my finger now. Look at that. There's your caulking. Look, all nice and clean now. Okay. But if there was something missing, I would take my almond and zip around there a little bit more. Okay. I'm even gonna go and caulk under here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at it, see what it looks like, and and I have a feeling I'll caulk underneath the, uh, the that toe kick there, and I'll even I'll even recaulk this where this trim is, and if this if this transition piece wasn't here, and if this carpet uh, was further out, let's say, I would caulk around the bottom edge of the of the uh, the door jam and all that kind of stuff too. And isn't that odd? Look at that. I went around before putting different screws in everywhere because some of my my screws were uh, some of my doors were uh, rubbing and sagging and stuff. I did all kinds of work before they painted. I must not have done anything here. There's a screw missing, so I have to finish that. See that little mark there? That's where a nail indentation was, it looks like. And I can take my white caulking and fill over there and wipe. Make sure you wipe the excess of your of your caulking off or else it's going to show a film around your hole. Okay. And so that's what that's what I'll I'll use. I use this stuff specifically, exclusively for all my little projects and and if I'm doing painting and stuff, this stuff paints over good too, okay? All right, I just wanted to show you that caulking.